Today I want to see if we can't get all our spraying done. At least all the spraying that's necessary for the step that we're at. And uh, yeah, we'll be doing all these little pieces here with the darker gray and then there's some large pieces, um, you know, that have to be done with the lighter gray. No, I'm saying large pieces, they in themselves are actually pretty small. Anyway, a lot of stuff to spray today. This piece was left over from the day before yesterday. Or was it even three days ago? Can't remember. Missed the one little part on it there. You can see it. Yeah, we'll fix that up. Now I just know that somebody's thinking to themselves, Ron sure can speak clearly through his face mask. And I was going to make a little joke about how I had the expensive model that had a built-in microphone. Well, the truth is that when I'm spraying with acrylic, I don't always wear it. This uh, homemade spray booth that I've uh, rigged up is so effective, I can't even smell the paint. It's drawing the air away from me and through the filters out the other side, and uh, I'm convinced that I'm not getting any breathing in any of the mist. Um, now, I'm only 99% convinced. Uh, I should actually be wearing it. It wouldn't hurt, right? Okay, I quit spraying and uh, like I mentioned I'm going to have to find another way to hold these. I'll probably use alligator clips. But the reason I quit spraying and I, I poured back what was in the cup back into the jar, but like I say the reason I, I quit is because I was noticing when I was spraying this it was, it seemed to me to be noticeably lighter and uh, well let's just check it against uh, another one of these okay all right yes at least at least it it seems lighter to me so I'm just gonna oh my be careful I don't wreck my stairs um, yeah so I'm just gonna add a few more drops to this shake it up and and uh, give that a little test because the, these ones here as well, I know you're zoomed back quite a ways, but they do seem to me to be lighter than what the rest of the stuff is. Just a little bit. Just I'm noticing it anyway. Maybe, maybe I'm picky. I don't know. Now, another thing. I completely cleaned out my airbrush. Took about 20 minutes. That's usually how long it takes me. That's, that's probably the bad part about an airbrush. But I was noticing when I first got it, when it was brand new, it used to run quite well, it used to spray quite well at uh, low pressure. I'm finding now that I have to increase the pressure to about 20 pounds and then get it sort of primed, you might say. And I'm going to try an experiment here. I'm wondering if possibly when I'm cleaning it out, where is that stuff? This stuff here. When I'm putting this uh, silicone on, on, the, uh, on the needle here, working it back and forth. I'm, I'm wondering if I, I'm getting this, uh, oh, it's just silicone free. Anyway, I'm wondering if I'm getting uh, getting it into the uh, nozzle end of it somehow and it's kind of plugging it up. So the experiment I want to try 
is I want to do a few drops of isopropyl alcohol first and, and just run that through. And then if there is anything on the needle, because I, I have been ex extremely careful not, not to uh, uh, bend anything, you know. I know I'm a little bit ham-handed sometimes, and I do set my camera on little parts and stuff like that, but I have been extra careful with this. So I'm quite sure I haven't bent anything out of a line. And yet it does seem to take a lot of pressure to get it started. Then after it seems to be, it's run a little bit, then I can slowly lower the pressure down. But not to the way it was when it was brand new. Now, maybe somebody else knows more about these things than I do and has a an obvious solution to it. Okay, I don't know how much of the black I've added here. I didn't measure it, I just sort of eyeballed it. Let's see what the difference is. I shook it really good in my homemade paint shaker and we'll see how this looks. Oh, maybe I should have put a little bit more on my brush. Let that dry and see how, you know what the difference is. You don't suppose I grabbed the wrong one, do you? This almost looks green. Is that the olive green one? I better check my box of paints. No, I didn't. Here's the one that has sort of a green tinge to it. And it's called uh, Film Gray. Yeah, put some more on my brush here and let's make it a little bit thicker here. This raised surface here is kind of hard to... I'm, I am noticing a difference, but it's what it's like when it's dry that counts, I guess. Also, I want to watch that I'm not going to dissolve the old stuff. And Okay, we'll let that dry. It's almost completely dry now, and I am noticing a, a noticeable difference, so I think I pretty well got it now. Mind you, I thought that before. Anyway, let's give it a try. Now, I even sort of sanded and filed down the edge of this alligator clip here so that it was flush, but the little peg is so rounded, it keeps pinging out. In fact, I had to look for it on the floor. Fortunately, I did spot it right away. But uh, I've got another idea. The alligator clip's not going to work, I know that. And the other idea might turn out to be a disaster, but I think it's going to be alright. Okay, what I did was I dipped the bottoms of the pegs into a little pool of uh, CA Thin that was right on this piece of plastic here. And then I put them in place here. And I, I do believe they'll stand up to the airbrush. It's a beautiful day here in Winnipeg. Nice cross breeze blowing right through the house. I got all the windows open. Here, just yeah, that pretty well covers the entire bottom of it. Let's see what's going to happen here now. Oh, right now I got the the pressure gauge set for one atmosphere, which would be about. 15 pounds, I guess. Okay, here we go. Okay, that's it. Oh no, a little bit more. Okay. Now, I've already shaken this up in the paint shaker. You know, 
thought maybe I'll use a new pipette. There might be a little bit of contamination from the isopropyl there. Now, I don't, I'm not going to need a whole lot here because, you know, I'm only going to do a few parts. I am going to go over what I, what I did there before. Because I was noticing that especially on the, uh, on the stairs, I'd missed some anyway, so I'm just going to try and mist it on nice and light. Now I don't know if this is going to work better or not. Now what I mean by make better here is because I had rinsed everything out with the isopropyl first, I was hoping that possibly any grease that was on the needle may have got rinsed off. In other words, it, the, the grease may have had sort of a clogging effect, um, but I really don't think so. I don't think that's my problem. And, and it's not really a problem. It is working. It's just that I'm surprised that it doesn't work as well at the low pressure like I thought it did when I first got it. Now, maybe it was just my imagination. Maybe it's always been this way. I'm, I'm leaving it at the same uh, setting. I think we're good to go. the pressure just a little here. up to 20 pounds. those little stairs. I don't know if you can see it or not, but the treads on one is showing the, the bare brass there. I'm just, I'm just going to spray it at the uh, angle you're going to be viewing it at. Let's try our little signal lamps here and see if they're going to get blown off. I wonder if I could lower the pressure a little bit here now.
and I'd say that's it for the dark gray. Okay, now the fun part, clean this thing up. I got all the little pieces removed and I got the airbrush all cleaned up and we're ready for the light gray, right? Nope. I forgot I got to do all these 16 little guns and observation units and stuff like that in the dark gray yet. And I'm going to try something different here. I was finding before that when I was spraying on this turntable that because I was spray, spraying uh, dark against black, I couldn't see the spray. And my thinking is that possibly uh, I'll be able to see it better. Now this this may not work. Could be that this is too big and it's going to be catching on stuff here. Could also be because the spinning well, no, I think this is going to be okay. I thought it might be distracting, but if I concentrate on the little part, I don't think it'll bother me. I might get hypnotized here.
You know what? I'm just noticing that this video is already 22 minutes long. I was kind of hoping that I'd be able to do a little bit of the light gray on the larger pieces, but I gotta cut it off right now. Otherwise, it's gonna be pretty late uh, before YouTube finishes processing it and people get to watch it. So, I guess the rest of it's gonna have to be in episode 144. Thanks for watching, and all being well, we'll be seeing you tomorrow.